bet you guys are wondering why we had two weddings. Um, Megan is here to tell that story. Yeah, so initially we were supposed to just have the Jan 25, but we wanted to do something a little more intimate and have a ceremony with just family. So last minute, we chose Color Wega and we chose to have it with family that could make it. Love and you, Nikki. <laughs> Love you, Nikki. <laughs> and it was really nice and intimate. And again, Mikael cried the most. <laughs> So, wait, it's <laughs> okay. Sige okay Pero dito mas kang iyak. <laughs> Megan, do you take Mikael here present for your lawful husband according to the right of our Holy Mother Church? Yes, I do. Do you give yourself to him as his wife? Yes, I do. Do you accept him as your lawful husband? Yes, I do. Mikael, do you take Megan here present for your lawful wife according to the right of our Holy Mother Church? Yes, I do. Do you give yourself to her as her husband? Yes, I do. Do you accept her as your lawful wife? Yes, I do. of people were wondering why Bones and Fofo. Megan is? Bones. And I am Fofo. And I will finally tell the story once and for all for everybody to hear. Uh, on our first year together, Megan and I were hanging out in her house. She was still studying in Benil. And she had a PE homework where she had to see how many push-ups she could do. So she was on the floor and she was wearing an athletic top and I could see her collarbone sticking out. And then, siyempre, hirit-hirit lang, medyo malandi lang ng konti. We were still dating at that time. And I said, hey, dude, I'm gonna call you Bones from now on. So, of course, I was just playing around, but the name stuck. And up until this day, I call her Bones. Madam Bones. Madam Bones on Instagram <laughs> nowadays as well. What a lovely picture when you prayed together after professing your vows, heads together holding each other's hands. Marriage is a place of warmth. Continue giving your jackets to each other. The same night after I was teasing her, I made her cuento, a completely random cuento naman, about me and Nikki. And basta inaasar ko siya, nahuli ko siya sa banyo, I don't know what was happening. I don't remember what was happening. Nagyo-yoga siya sa banyo. Nagyo-yoga siya sa banyo, let's put it like that. And sobrang nainis siya, hinabol niya ako around the house, baler, second floor. Eventually, nakuha niya ako, pinned me up against the wall, and wanted to curse me out and say mofo. Pero Nikki being him, nabulol siya. And said, you fofo! <laughs> I told that story, Megan was laughing her head off, and ever since, she's called me fofo. How sweet the <laughs> And she found it so funny, she called me a father fucker the whole night. <laughs> and that was it. So it's father fucker.
both excited for life and we love to talk about life and that's something that I think really shaped our relationship when we got older. Yung first meet ko talaga sa kanya, kinakabahan ako kasi parang ang sungit niya talaga, yung seryoso yung mukha niya. Tapos nung tumagal na ako sa kanya, ang bait niya pala, tapos ang sweet niya. Megan is uh, very malambing. Um, that's what I like about her. First impression was she was very down to earth. She wasn't the typical celebrity that was very, you know, like snooty or mayabang. I found her very warm and um, she was very welcoming also in a sense na she was a smiling face. She was very real and I think that's what I liked about Megan from the very beginning. You know, like, you would think if you saw her like out there that she wouldn't really mind you, but she is very down to earth and very simple. <laughs> he was just so loud and obnoxious and like whenever he laughs it's like ha 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 I didn't know Miguel as well in college but my very very brief encounter with him was mostly he was this uh, boastful guy he spoke so loud so if you ever attended Ateneo the hallways are not wide and if he came by you would hear him. He was so loud and he's so tall. He was always like the older brother. He's, he was a lot more cerebral and a lot more mindful about real life things like money and work and being responsible. Always there when you need questions on tech. Um, very, ano kasi Finances. Siya? Finances. Investments. Investments. A lot of the times that we talk, it's mostly about how to be responsible with money and how money is something that you use to help people. So I've, I've been on the receiving end of that, so I love them for that. I can stop this feeling deep inside of me Girl, you just don't realize what you do to me When you hold me in my arms so tight You let me know Everything's all right. I'm hooked on a feeling. I'm high on believing that you're in love with me. When we were younger, Megan would always tell us that. You know, I'm so scared of doing this, doing that. She wanted to do Binibiling Pilipina. She was so scared. It was Fofo that actually lifted her up and gave her her wings. Winning Miss World was such a blessing in her life. And I feel like if that didn't happen, then she would be constantly trying to figure out what she should be doing. Si Mick yun nagpo-post sa kanya to go to the gym, to eat healthy. Yung mga ganun na... Bagay na kailangan ni Megan, pero medyo tamad siyang gawin. Mikael made this really a great impact to help Megan gain her um, confidence. He's fun, he's energetic, he's um, excited about life, and I feel like that's exactly the perfect balance that Megan needs. She's very, ano kasi, very timid and very, um, parang, ah, oh, no, ganito lang ako. Like, oh, no, I'm so shy. I'm so, I'm so scared. So she needed someone like Mikael to be like, hey, no, there's so much more that life has to offer. He was able to bring out the best in her. It was good na, you know, he made her better. She made him better. Megan is the, is the polish and class that sometimes Mikael lacks. And I honestly think Mikael is the solid rock that sometimes Megan lacks. And so I think they really work very, very well uh, together.
Pupunta din tayo sa ibang bansa, tapos di natin kailangan na sila yung susundin, ano ba yung schedule nila, sila yung sumusunod sa schedule natin kung ano gusto natin gawin. Sobrang down to earth. Silang dalawa ay grabe, walang arte sa katawan. Hindi sila yung masela. Hmm, simple lang. Meron kaming umbrella pag nag-hiking kami. Ganon kami ka-arte. Pero sila wala silang care. They're like, huh, get out of my way. They're a real person, they're humble. Uh, in fact, tayo yung mas mayabang kaysa sa akin doon. Ikaw lang. Ay, kapo lang. Buisit ka. decide to be with them for an afternoon, you better cancel your night plans, your midnight plans, and maybe your morning plan the morning after. Because they're really super spontaneous. I hate it, but I love it at the same time. This is on top of their being two CBA sometimes. One thing I hate about them, sobrang kalat nila. They're the messiest couple I know. For a while, I think we were even I was even living with Megan and Mick and for a few months, and they're just Things. To me, that's the worst trait that they have. Alam mo kung gano'ng kasuplado yan? Paano? Ang gagawin niyan dati, o order pupunta. Kasi malapit bahay niya sa Coffee Empire, di ba? Uh -huh. So, pupunta ng Coffee Empire yan, o order ng espresso na gano'n, iinumin, iiwanan sa mesa yung espresso, tapos lalayas na. Uh -huh. So, ngayon yung pangatlong balik niya, kasama niya si Megan, uh -huh. yung akit ng tao, iba. Uh -huh. Sabi niya ngayon sa akin, Sir, dyan si Mikael, sabi ko, oh, buti bumalik ulit. Sir, kasama si Megan yan. Sabi ko, ah, ganun ba? Sabi ko, o tapos. Sabi niya, sir, switch silang dalawa. <laughs> What is one thing I hate about them as a couple is that they tend to be a little bit too PDA. I mean, we get that you're together, but you know, just keep it in the bedroom. <laughs> ako, the experience ko. Pag nandyan ako, magkikisila. Tapos tatalikod na lang ako kasi nga, parang nahihiya ako. <laughs> Sobrang public yung display of affection nila. Kaya, eto, naninilip yan. <laughs> cute, cuddly, medyo PDA, pero okay lang. Cute naman. In your face, but parang they're super in love and happy. And that's what I want also in the future. Eto yung re remembrance nila. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay. My husband now. <laughs>